So I'm Thomas Holt, I'm the Art Director for Environments for Smite. So can you talk about the, uh, the new art update for Mount Olympus? Definitely. So the new Conquest map is really exciting. We've done a complete visual overall to it, along with some gameplay changes aimed at the design changes that we're introducing for Season 2. Uh, and we've basically changed the whole thing. It's, uh, we've introduced a lot of landmarking, a lot of vistas, uh, and basically visually changed it a lot to bring a lot more immersion, uh, better navigation, and just make the overall map more epic. Now, uh, I remember watching your video and you mentioned how that you can see the, the smoke fumes coming out. Uh, like you can see the, the fire giant like literally anywhere. What was the, the goal for doing something like that for the Mount Olympus? Right. Well, for, for MOBA, it's, it's important to know where you are at all times. And, and for us, we're very different from other MOBAs because of our third person camera. And so navigation for us is very different from a top down map that always is north, south, east, west, and easy to kind of navigate because the players have control of the camera they can be turning it around. And what we wanted to do is, we've got the volcano on one end, Mount Olympus on the other end. So the ends are very clear, and you can see them from anywhere in the map, and you know where you are. And so we wanted to introduce very strong landmarks midway, so that the players had a very strong connection to, like, that's the Gold Fury side, this is the Fire Giant side, and know kind of where they are in, in relation to the center of the map. Can you talk a little bit about the updated uh, jungle camps that you guys will be having? Yeah. Well, we really wanted to make sure the jungle camps communicated clearly what buff it was, what benefit it was going to offer the player, and also add the kind of personality and kind of immersion of them not popping into existence. And so we visually updated the buff camp NPCs so they kind of speak to the buff. Uh, we've changed the animations, they have resting animations and uh, action animations as well as their spawns. Uh, and then we've also addressed the environment so that it's very clear which buff you're dealing with. So if you see Pegasus, you know you're in a speed buff versus the Minotaur for the damage buff. Now, uh, what are the difficulties of creating a, a map like Mount Olympus with uh, being gorgeous and pretty, but not making it too pretty for players to not get distracted while they're playing the game? So with the new Conquest map, we obviously want to make it as gorgeous as we possibly can. Uh, at the same time, we know gameplay comes first. And so we want to make sure that the background is the background, that it sits back from the players, from the gods, from the abilities. Uh, at the same time, helps uh, increase immersion, helps bring focus to the gameplay, and doesn't distract from it. So we pay careful attention to the colors we used, the contrast that we used, uh, where we used our materials, and where we did those things for navigation to make sure that it enhanced the gameplay versus distracting from it. Uh, it's also extremely difficult as you're dealing with something this big and this grand and this complicated uh, and trying to make sure that it fits within budget, it runs at frame rate, that you have the technical constraints in place so that the players have the best gameplay experience possible within the setting.